Let's take a quick look at tools, layers, and the display panel. After that, I'll take you through a quick project in ARA mode. Listen to this beat. Here in the tools panel, there's a lot to choose from. These are the tools for making selections on the spectrogram. Make a selection and hit the space bar to hear it. You can select by time range, frequency range. You can make rectangular as well as elliptical selections. We have freeform and polygonal lasso tools a configurable brush tool, magic wand tool, and a transient selection tool. No, we didn't forget the frequency tools. Listen to this clip. Here, I'm going up to the display panel to refine my view, and now we'll go into full screen mode. Using the Frequency Selection tool, here I'm selecting the fundamental frequency of the guitar part. Now switching over to the Harmonics Selection tool, here I'm selecting the fundamental frequency, as well as the first five harmonics above it. Let's go back to the display panel for a minute. You saw that I increased the resolution to refine my view. The sharper look helped me to more clearly see the fundamental frequency and its harmonics. The two amplitude sliders can show you how your volume dynamics are structured. They're great for quickly locating the loudest parts of the sound, including loud transients. If you want to attenuate the loudest parts of a sound, these threshold controls will show you where they are, and then you can operate directly on what you see in the spectrograph. The 3D Perspective tool provides another way to explore the amplitude landscape of your sound. The way it behaves is programmable in the display panel, as we shall see. FFT size is analogous to the aperture control on a camera lens, which controls the foreground and background resolution. In this case, we are working with time and frequency coordinates. The FFT size control is the only control in the display panel that exerts an influence on the selected material, and its influence can vary depending on the tool or process being used. All other controls are for visualization only. By default, layers appear in the Layers panel with automatically alternating colors. Switching into Composite View allows you to see how all active layers work together as a whole with regard to dynamic range. There are many other display panel viewing options available, Here's what the panel looks like with every option selected. Layers in Spectral Layers are where selected content, as well as some process-generated content, are placed. In ARA mode, when you drag a layer from Spectral Layers to the Cubase or Nuendo timeline, a new audio file is created in the pool. When you, for example, unmix a song in Spectral Layers, you get immediate access to seven new layers. With no changes applied, playback is 100% artifact free. No data loss, no change in phase. The sound is identical to the source. Here are some of the ways that you can work with layers. It's really important to remember that everything in Spectral Layers works together as a system. The learning curve is similar to Photoshop for getting to that place where the workflow becomes intuitive. And just like Photoshop, there's often more than one way to get things done. Now let's put a few tools to work, and here we'll learn about how layers work in ARA mode. This is ARA2 integration at its finest. Listen to this loop. Here I've used the magic wand tool to select the beeps which happen to be on the right channel only. You can choose the channel or channels to select on here in the channels panel. My selection sounds like this. I'm going to move this selection to its own independent layer. In the Edit menu, choose Cut Special, Cut to New Layer. And here's the new layer. Muted, I have the drum loop, but now without the beat. Now here's a bit of ARA2 magic. I'm dragging the beep layer into the Cubase timeline. It appears on a new track, and a new file is even created in the pool. Now we can mix the beep on its own channel. Here, I've placed an insert reverb effect on it. Hey, 
And here's both channels played together. In the next video, I'll show you how the tools, processes, and layers work together as a system in ARA mode in Cubase or Nuendo. These tools and processes are a synergy that's empowered by layers, and ARA2 is the protocol that allows you to leverage this power on the DAW timeline to get results that are virtually impossible to achieve in any other way. We hope you enjoyed this video. Spectra Layers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.